everyone and welcome to the sets of Let's Talk presented by Asian Institute of Management and Technology. This is Paridhi Agarwal, your host for the very first episode of Let's Talk. Let's Talk, as the byline says, we talk, we take action, we learn. Here, we interact with people belonging from various fields and knowing about their life and their secret mantras for success. We are proud to announce our very first episode with an eminent journalist, popular television anchor, a writer, but rather addresses himself as a farmer. Hello and welcome to our show, sir. Mr. Munal Talukdar. Hello. Isn't it a lovely day, sir? Of course, when you have such lovely lady in front of me. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, we know that you are so versatile in nature. You are a farmer, you are a writer, you are a popular anchor. How do you manage all these roles at a time, sir? It's not that. 24 hours is the same for me, for me and Modi, Putin, Obama. Everybody are managing is. It's not a big thing if you have interest. So, tracing your days to the childhood, would you like to tell us what kind of a na uh, what nature you had when you were a kid? I Absolutely, mean, uh, uh, you can call it a badmas kid. Hardly have ever opened my door. I have ever entered my compass, opening my gate. I have always used to jump over it. So, as naughty as possible, you can dream it and multiply it by two. And this is the area where I used to roam around in my childhood. So, any incident or a moment of your childhood where you were so mischievous? Uh, I, st I this morning also I had the same thing. I have a serious back back ache, back problem. You all know, and you know why. I tried to go for a bicycle volley. I missed the ball in the mid air, and the entire back fell on the main uh, concrete uh, floor. And it's, since then, I am suffering from back ache. That's the height of mischievous. You can tell me. So, as a kid. I had gone through a phase when my parents actually decide what my career would be. Did you ever go through a phase where your dad told you that you have to become a doctor or an engineer or a lawyer? In fact, uh, what happened, I have a little bit uh, different kind of a background because I came from a literature background and my, I lost my dad in class 8. So, I was quite young. So, there was no one to actually put a pressure. But although I came from a literature background, I was a very good player. I was a very good cricket player. But that stopped. Probably I should have been playing Ranji now. But not now, later. But I, it got stopped. So there was no one to guide me, no one to say that you do this, do that. Because I lost my dad class 8 and then after it's a Afil Jani, since then it has been going on and on and on. There was not just a pressure, but after cricket career, halfway, I decided to a journalist long time back when most of the people were my uh, schoolmates, batchmates, were more into the, the more conventional way profession of general, uh, engineers and doctors. So, so you are from a media background. And Not exactly, a literature background. Literature background, but you work in a media field. So, tell us uh, about the media scenario that you are uh, that the regional media has compared to the national media scenario. Now or what when? What is your take? So, now? I had a romantic illusion about media. So, I when I entered uh, entered in 1989, the donkey's years, almost 25 years now. I uh, I had a great illusion which uh, it didn't take long time to break. But today, I find no comparison between uh, national media and regional media. Both are now uh, not very up to the mark, uh, and it's more about very, very uh, what do you call it? It's more about tabletization. It's no longer a media which I, we can perceive or which you read in the uh, textbook. It's not that. It's more about the tabletization. The whole thing is so that way. The character between the national and regional media is almost same. I mean, it is Hindi and Assamese is almost same. So, there used to be two places in the whole country where there used to be a serious kind of news. One was Kerala, one was Assam. I don't know about Kerala. Assam is now installed almost dead. So, it's complete tabloidization of the entire media in the whole of the country. So, that way I don't find any great thing. Last few best ones like mainstream or like uh, 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 Hindu is all now very isolated. Others are all simple tabloidization. So, you want to know, if you want to talk about Mohima media, now, who is probably making the Sahid Kapoor? Sahid Kapoor got married to Mira Rasput. Yes, and yes. I know much about that than any other big incident because we also been fed with the news that who has prepared Sahid Kapoor's the invitation card. The media has gone to that level. Okay, the, uh, that means you say the media has gone very passionate about every single thing happening in happening. I will in not the say country. it's pure, mar pure commercialization, pure market. Okay. I will uh, although say I am from an old school thought, but. Probably that is the order of the day. You need more about Mira Rasput and Mira Said Kapoor's marriage than something happening in Kamakha's Debutter board. Because that's what sells. And whatever it sells, it's the things. That's why Sunny Leon is the most downloaded woman in the whole world. You sell what? That's what you're selling. I am born and brought up or raised in a diet that you should be morally obliged, blah, blah, blah. But that's not the order of the day at this market oriented economy. That's the reality. And probably reality counts, not those theory counts any longer. 
So you are a seri serious, very serious journalist, but Do you, you think address so? your yes. Sir. I don't think so. <laughs> but you address yourself as a farmer. Why is it so, sir? Oh, that's the one profession which I love. Really brave. So mm, uh, I just met some of the person whom in your uh, faculty also who came from the same area where my ancestor used to belong. I am a rootless person because uh, my father had come here in on fifth, early 50s. So we have been living in this area. So more and more I have grown up, I have been uh, developed an affinity towards the back. So people are going always this direction. I wanted to go back to other direction. So I bought some land. So I did start farming. Uh, and then uh, because I think this is where everybody are living. I can make more money, more respectfully, and more organized way, and still I have some good time to cheer. And I am uh, halfway now. I am about uh, re almost reaching the midlife. So I think this is one way I can make me more respectful uh, than dying in like a media person. Very true, sir. So true. You have a wonderful daughter, and she's very beautiful. And we passed out from the same school. Oh, so nice. So you know that Northeast has been increasing in uh, alarming rate of. Uh, Northeast has been increasing at an alarming rate of crime against women. So, would you rather keep your daughter in a safe heaven that is your house, or would you rather let her explore the dark night or the world that I we call today? I will call it. I will call it a later, later one. Later I will call one. it a later one because Why? let her let her explore the dark side of the world and understand it. Because we, I had done the same thing. Let her do it. What is the protection level? You are sitting with me. Tomorrow you will be sitting with somewhere else in a some long distance country or thing. How can you protect your daughter? Can I? I cannot. Everybody loves their daughter. Your parents love you, and I love my own daughter. But thing is that, in the northeast, women are extremely safe. I had worked in extreme worst condition in all over the northeast. Most of the hill states, especially those insurgency infested areas where I used to work, I still work. The safest place after darkness is to go near an woman. In the insurgency infested in Manipur, deep in Okrul, or in deep in Okha, or in Chandel. How, what, how do we survive in unknown areas? I am not. I don't look like a tribal. Neither you. Yes. So what I can very easily they can distinguish that I am not some from the local. So to save myself from the situation, what I do, I just somewhere there are unknown women. I walk on just nearby her, and protect myself in a very severe situation. As far as Delhi and other metros are concerned, I always consider it is safe as long as you want to keep yourself safe. Yes. So, we know that you are our mentor, you take our classes and we remember in our class saying that you were a foodie. So, do tell us about your favorite childhood recipe. Yeah, recipe yes. Half the time I was in the Chanmari is, uh, thing, uh, having samosas. Me and my friend Pankos, who is now a vice president of Pfizer, we once calculated that I think we had in my our childhood the two Two, three boras of samosas. Each bora is about boras? boras. I think about three, three. See, for 365 days, we used to eat 300 say, samosas a year. 10 years, 8,500. And it's much more than 10 years. Yes. That's from, around, I think, from 79, 70, 80, I think we ate up to, yeah, the salt of samosas. Because we didn't have money. The two rupees is enough. I still remember Ponko, who is now drives a Mercedes Benz, he stays in the Dallas. Both of us uh, hired money from a uh, Bacha and to see cinema in Onurada. And oh. film was, I think, Kuli. Kuli, do you Kuli. like that movie? I love Amitabh Bachchan. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, I love Amitabh Bachchan. But nowadays, I'm a fan of Piku. Piku. That's a fantastic film. And, uh, that angry young Amitabh, I don't like nowadays. I like much more mellow Amitabh, like Piku. Sir, uh, Amitabh Bachchan also did Pi, if you remember. So, did you like him there also? Uh, not really. It was too, it so, I think because it's too Amitabh complex Bachchan a story. I want, I because see, uh, uh, this is one thing which I have uh, generated uh, after I have become father and now a father of a much younger, a much uh, uh, midway I can see it. Pain of a children nowadays I am cannot suffer. That's a problem. I have been. I was not that. I was very emotionless robot as a journalist. But as my child, my own daughter grows and I cannot see the pain of other children. So that's a problem. That's now, pata nahi kya ho gaya. So I used to be very emotionless, robot kind of a thing whenever I used to work. But generally now I avoid any kind of a children problem because I think I quite correlate. That is a children problem after all. So it happens. So I love to have something like a pico, like a funny problem where a daughter and father is talking about the potty half the time. <laughs> that is actually a very funny scene, sir. You were narrating us that day when we came to talk to you. That's exactly. My daughter was telling me, this is, my, this is me she was thinking about. 
<laughs> I could have the Indian, I have the uh, Indian problem home. Half of Assam home has the problem of poverty, and that is being discussed in every what uh, dining table or every breakfast table, and uh, that can be made as film by Sujit Sirta. It is fantastic. That's a great Absolutely. screenplay. Absolutely. So, as you are a very busy person. No, I am not. So, but you are you are into so many stuff. You are into writing. You are into an anchor. You are into farming. You even teach us. How do you manage to take out the time for your daughter? Ha. ये एक क्वेश्चन है, because I never had much time for her for education purpose for from one to ten. That was a that was a kind of an calculation which I did with my wife. That एक first class one से class ten आपका है, class eleven से मेरा है. तो अभी मेरा है. As far as her teaching, her career is because I find it much more comfortable to talk at a, beyond eleven. But thing is that yes, I still find time. I find time, and uh, and I don't think she is my daughter. She is my girlfriend for number one. Okay, she's your girlfriend. Yeah, first course. girlfriend. First girlfriend. So, if you ever had to choose between your daughter and your wife, then wife. Wife. With this, we come to the last segment of the show. Oh, it's already over. <laughs> which is a rapid fire round. I would like my crew to keep a check of a minute, and we'll see how spontaneously Sir will answer these questions. Sure. Sir, fasten your seat belt, Sir. Oh, sure. I'm doing. So you do not have time. You have to answer very spontaneously. Yeah, I'm ready. Your time starts now. I should write a button or Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie. Journalist, farmer, or a writer. Writer. Guwahati city buses or local checkers. Guwahati city bus. Samosa or chole bhature. Samosa. Harley Davidson or your red bicycle. Harley Davidson. L well, let me tell you, sir has a red bicycle and he loves it, but still he went for Harley Davidson. We were expecting you to say your red bicycle. Because I'm an aspiration. Harley Davidson is an aspiration. I drove only twice in my life, Harley Davidson. <laughs> okay. Minal Talukdar is a dad, or Minal Talukdar is a husband. Husband. Deepika Padukone in Piku or Amir Khan in PK. Deepika Padukone in Piku. If you become a prime minister for one day, what would be your first decision? I don't know. Pass. Your craziest childhood fantasy. Take Sunny Leone for a date. Okay. Dan Brown or Khalid Husseini? Khalid Husseini. So why Khalid Husseini? Because of the book. I saw Dan Brown on your desk. Because <laughs> because that I love the books because which are much more complicated. Dan Brown has much more complicated things. But that book was not something which I write uh, read. I picked up the uh, that book in the last flight because I lost I left my main book at home. So I picked up in the airport. In the airport, the Dan Browns are very easily available. Very true. Love marriage or arranged marriage? Love marriage. Because you had a love marriage. Of right? course, that's a long, long one though. Bhupen Hazari ka Khagan Mohan ka. Bhupen Hazari. Um, 1983 finals or Vankhede finals? 1983. Mahindra Singh Dhoni or Kapil Dev? Kapil Dev. Cleve Lloyd or Steve Boggs? Steve Boggs. Test matches or 2020 matches? Test matches. Sachin Tendulkar or Brad Mitt? Brad Mitt. Print media or electronic media? Print media. Morning newspaper or TV news? Morning newspaper. Khans or Kapoor's in the Bollywood? None. None? So then, more, whom will you see? I like Anjali Lajoli. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> With this, we come to an end of our show. Before ending the show, sir, I would like you to sign this book. Yeah, thank you. I like to. I would like you to give a small message for our left top family and our institute. Here or there? Yeah. Okay. You can say it there also. See, I am not good again writing. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for bringing me here, and I love to have good fun. I am not a serious person. People think that I am a very serious person, and people think that I can't smile. People think I always argue. People think that I only debate. That's not that. I love to go for a date with Angelina Jolie. If you have her number, please tell me. I would like to send her number. <laughs> and by the way, I sent a mail. She did not reply. And thank you, host, uh, hostess, for it. You had done a great job. Thank you very much, and wish you all the best, and wish the entire team a great success. With uh, subsequent guests will be equally good, and uh, more fun. And I think I'll be there with you. Any help you need, in all of the episodes we should. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you, sir. It was wonderful having you here. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Now, thank you, viewers, for watching the show. I would like you to subscribe or AIMT's YouTube channel for more upcoming videos. And you can send us your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you. It's a wrap.